Last email. It's from Brendan in Wisconsin. Also a weird one. I was at KU the same time as Dan. Oh, boy. And figured our paths had to have crossed <laughs> at some point based on my friend's group and Lawrence not being that large, though I don't recall ever actually meeting him. I didn't think we'd have a Pringles can full of poop in common, but anyway, <laughs> on to the subject at hand. I apparently lived in the same dorm oh as Dan. Oh, my God. Really, Hashner? And, in fact, I lived on the much-hated sixth floor where said Pringles can was Holy left. shit! I don't blame the hate. We were the number one reason for midnight evacuations because of all the stoners on the floor setting off all the smoke yeah. alarms. I did not look into the Pringles can, but I did see it in our floor's common area and had been told what it contained. I recall that our floor found out it was the eighth floor that had left the can, and That's so true. someone promptly returned it to that floor. Then came a short-lived battle of depositing the can back and forth. Until I think ultimately it just rode the elevator for a bit. Yes, I remember the so elevator. The whole building could share in the fun. The sixth floor was a pretty disgust. The sixth floor was pretty disgusting, and the bathroom was like a crime scene too many times to count. Which is why my friends and I mostly stayed in my room playing Mr. Driller and going to the <laughs> fifth floor to use the bathroom. I should have hung out with them. They were playing Mr. Driller. I hope this fills in the story a little more for all of you. I don't remember the back and forth war, but I do remember seeing it in the elevator <laughs> and not getting in the elevator <laughs> and. Holy shit! So the story he lived on the sixth vetted. floor with the Scots and Leslie, and holy shit! That's just wow. bound That's to happen. Nuts. Tell enough of these wackos. What stories. was his name? The first name? Did, uh, did he list it? Brendan. Oh. Is, is there a last initial? Is it a C? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. Later. Okay. I want to out this guy's name on the I, podcast, I might, but I might know who this guy is. Okay. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Really Someone can like back up the Pringles poop story. Yeah. Nice. There you go. The visual image of elevator doors opening. Yeah. There it is, just in the middle. And then and you know what's inside. Yeah. And you're just like, well, yeah, I'm not getting you. in there. Nope. That red Pringles can, I remember it. But like if the cap was on it, you could, I mean. I don't remember what the cap situation was. If it was escalating, it would not surprise yeah, me if it, it was it, off at yeah, some point. At some point. Though. But I don't remember that specific. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. awesome. Where's that Pringles can today? The world, the world may never know. Still on the elevator. So yeah, I think they got rid of Hashinger Hall. That's probably why <laughs> they had to bulldoze the building. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably why it happened. Well, well, biohazard. Like once, you, once you pop, you can't stop. So yeah, they just had to tear the building. Yeah, up. yeah. Just got to salt the earth. <laughs> Start over. All right, bombcast giantbomb.com.